guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful uh well-fitted mesh pants this has been a request since i don't know when since i started my youtube journey and um today i'm going to teach you how to do that beautiful shaping for the crotch area and you can see some of the samples that i've worked with and some of the fittings for my clients and if you would like to place a custom order please email me i'll be leaving all the details in the description box below as well as the written pattern it's already available from size extra small to size 2xl so for today i'll be demonstrating for a size extra small to small the materials that you'll need for this project are a hook the hook that i'll be using is a five millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors uh, you also need one stitch marker a darning needle and a measuring tip so let's get started now you're going to start off with uh, a slip knot after your slip knot you're going to make a chain that is long enough to wrap around your hips or your hip measurement uh, without stretching the the chain this is because the mesh pattern shrinks as we work so you don't want to stretch out your piece and then you end up with a small fitted pair of pants so for me i'll do a total of 120 chains four five six seven eight nine ten and continue working your chains until you have your desired number of chains for your size Okay guys, I have my 120 chains and I'm going to make one more chain to make it 121. You should always make sure that you have an odd number of chains for your foundation chain. And then you're going to go into the very first chain, making sure that your chain is not twisted. You're going to go into the very first chain that you made with a slip stitch. So insert your hook and pull through all. That's a slip stitch. Now that marks the end of the foundation chain. And now we're going on to round one. Round one, you're going to make a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. So you're going to prepare for a double crochet, skip over the next chain, and then double crochet into the next. Like that chain one skip over the next chain and double crochet into the next chain and that's basically what we are going to repeat for round one keep working this all the way around and i'll meet you back towards the towards the end of the row somewhere around here just keep working the mesh pattern All right, guys, we've gone all the way around the chain. We are almost at the beginning of our round. And I'm still chaining one, skipping one chain and one double crochet into the next. That's all that I'm doing for round one. This is going to create a mesh pattern all the way around the very first round of your pants. Now, when you get towards the end, you have to just cross check just to make sure that your work is not twisted and you haven't messed up anything so the fact that i have not twisted my work i'll have only one chain left at this point now i'll chain one 
and then go into the third chain of the very first chain four so you're going to count from the base one two and into the third you're going to insert your hook and then pull through all so that will be your slip stitch this is how our very first round looks like now we're going on to round two and for round two you're going to make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round because uh, this helps us to get a straight seam line so that we don't have a slanting seam line at the back of our pants so chain four turn your work and then place a double crochet into the next double crochet for this pattern we are not placing anything in the chain one space so you just chain one go into the next double crochet and place a double crochet there and you're going to repeat that all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the round here towards the end of the round and I'll show you how to wind up your round two. So we're almost coming to the end of round two and you should notice that your work is kind of shrinking. That's why when I was making the foundation chain, I didn't want to stretch it so much. So uh, we're coming to the end of round two and I'm still going with my chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet. And that will be our very last double crochet here. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to go into the third chain of the first chain four of the round so count from the base one two three and into that third chain you're going to insert your hook pull through all and that is how we wind up our round two now we are going to go ahead and repeat round two for a couple of rounds i'll let you know how many rounds to do for the different sizes so i'm going to just go ahead and keep working round two until i get my desired number of rounds so guys this is just a little update to show you what everything should look like as you work if you see any diversion or anything that you don't understand please refer back to that tutorial go back a bit and try to reflect on the instructions so that you don't get it wrong okay guys so um i went ahead to do a total of my 17 rounds for all the other sizes up to 2xl i have all the instructions in the written pattern so i have my uh, 17 rounds here of mesh and i went ahead to get a stitch marker that i used to divide these uh, boxes into half so i have a total of a hundred and 20 chains which give me um, a total of 60 boxes and i've gone ahead to divide that number by two that means this side um this is where i ended my very last round just to be clear i ended my last round here so i just went ahead to mark this as point a this will be your point a where you place the stitch marker the the slip stitch where you place the slip stitch will be a point a and you're going to divide the number of boxes around by two and mark that middle the dividing double crochet with a stitch marker so for me i have 30 spaces on this side and 30 spaces on this side 30 boxes so we're going to go on to the leg shaping or the shaping of the crotch or dividing the legs whatever you wish to call it uh we're going to make a chain of um let me check on the written pattern just to be sure 
I'm going to make a chain of 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So for the other sizes, you'll be doing something different. This is for the size extra small to small. So eleven chains here, and you're going to go into the the sixth chain from the hook. So you're going to count from this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you're going to prepare for a double crochet and insert it into the sixth chain from the hook. So we have our one double crochet there. It will create a mesh pattern already. Then you're going to continue to chain one, one double crochet into the next chain after skipping one chain, of course, because this pattern is entirely mesh. So you always chain one, skip one chain, and then one double crochet into the next. So you're going to keep doing that until you have only one chain left on your extension. So um, now we're going to go back onto the body of the shorts, but we're going to take a side whereby we are working in the opposite direction of the previous round. So if we go to this side, you can see we're going to be working in the same direction as the previous round. So that means I have to take this direction whereby I will be working in the opposite direction of the previous round. So we have one chain here left. So you're going to chain one and you're going to place one sink, one double crochet, sorry, one double crochet into that same double crochet where we placed the slip stitch. So you just go into that space there with a double crochet. This just helps us to determine which direction we are going to take. We are not going to take this side because now our stitches are facing this side. So we are going to continue to chain one, one double crochet into the next double crochet. Of course, after skipping that double crochet space. So we're going to just continue this until we get to the stitch marker. Just keep working the mesh pattern. until we get to the stitch marker that we placed in the middle, in the exact middle of our skirt, because at that point it wasn't yet a punt. So we're coming towards the stitch marker and you can see the stitch marker is here. You're going to remove it and then chain one and place a double crochet where that stitch marker was. That means we've worked the first half of our um, pants and now we're going to make a chain of 11 just like we did here on this side. So you're going to make a chain of 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
so i have my 11 chains and at this point you can put the stitch marker away so you're going to go into the sixth chain from the hook it's here and you're going to place one double crochet like that and then you're going to make a chain of one uh skip one chain and double crochet into the next chain creating the mesh pattern so you're going to repeat this until you have only one chain left before we get back to the body of the shirts so we have that one chain here you're going to chain one you're going to still work on the same side first ignore one side when we're going to go back onto this side and we are going to create the mesh pattern so after a chain of one skip this chain and then go into the next double crochet like that and then you're going to just keep repeating the mesh pattern So you're going to work the mesh pattern until you get back to, remember our side A, you're going to just keep working the mesh pattern until you get to this level. I'll show you what to do when we get here. So we've made it all the way across and now you're going to chain one and skip one chain and go into the next chain with one double crochet there now you should notice that on one side of the shirts we have two extra rows and this side is two rows less than the opposite side so this is what you should have something like this but on this side we have an extension like as if it's only one uh, what can I say as if it's one row but they're actually two rows extension so this is how one side will look like and then this is how the behind side will look like now we're going to start doing something different we're going to balance what's on this side onto this side because if you count the number of rows on this side and this side you'll notice that you have a total of uh, 17 rows here and here we have a total of 19 rows so we want to balance what we see on this side onto this side so from here you're going to chain one and single crochet two times into the double crochet space or the row just do two single crochets and then two single crochets into the next like that this is going to help us cross over to this side now from here you're going to make a chain of four and turn your work onto the side that is two rows less so from here your chain of four counts as a double crochet chain one you're going to go into the next double crochet with one double crochet like that chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and then we're going to place one double crochet into that space where we had placed the slip stitch i hope you still remember that stitch after here you're going to chain one and then one double crochet into that double crochet to get back to the body of the pants so from here you're going to just go on with your mesh pattern chain one one double crochet into the next chain one one double crochet into the next so for this part you'll notice that you're working in the same direction as the previous row but that doesn't matter at this point because we have to do what we have to do in order to balance the two sides uh, everything will even out later on it won't even show so just keep working the mesh pattern until we get back to this side this opposite side all right guys we are almost coming to the opposite side and this is what you should have on this side and on this side we still have only one almost as if one row of extension but we are going to change that you're going to chain one to, um go into the next double crochet with 
a double crochet there and then chain one skip the double crochet space and go into the top of the double crochet with a double crochet chain one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet so this brings us to two rows as if the illusion is two rows on this side and then three rows on this side so we're going to do something different you're going to make a chain of four turn your work remember our goal is to balance the middle section as well as the two sides so now um this side has a total of 18 rows and this side has a total of 19 rows and we want to balance that means we are going to go back on this side so that we get a total of 19 rows so after your chain of four you're going to go into the next double crochet with a double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet and keep uh, working your mesh pattern until you're almost at this point so just keep working until you're around somewhere before the extension on the opposite side somewhere around here Okay, so I've worked my mesh pattern until I have about one, two, three spaces before the extension. So I'll just do one more so that I have only two spaces before the, exp before the extension. And now I'm going to skip over the two spaces and directly go into the next double crochet and place a slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain one, cut my yarn, pull through. Now you have to cross check your work and make sure you have the same exact number of rows on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Let's cross check this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So that means we have balanced our shorts and now we can start elongating them to form um, our pants. So you're going to get a short strand of yarn, a very short strand of yarn. You can even use your crochet hook if you wish. And you're going to start attaching the two extensions I just prefer to do it like this and then here I can make a knot like that and then you're going to just start attaching these two pieces together you're going to just eyeball because on one side we have stitches on the other side we have spaces but just make sure you join it well enough for it to stick so that it doesn't go apart. Okay. After this, after joining, uh, you're going to just weave in this tail. Just make sure it's secure enough.
and at this point we have the general shape of our pants guys look at this um everything is in place right now now uh you're going to turn your work onto the right side i don't know which side you prefer to be the right side but me i'll just turn mine and then i'll also determine which side is my front i already know that where the seam line is is the back side of my pant so this will be the front side so i'm going to attach my yarn onto the back side of any of the leg holes because now we are going to just extend the leg holes basically uh the hardest part about this piece was uh, the leg hole shaping and everything but once that's done you're going to attach your yarn onto the back side you can see my seam line is there so i'll attach my yarn in any chain in any double crochet stitch on the back side this is the back side on the back side in any double crochet stitch i'll just attach my yarn there and then make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one and then start creating the mesh pattern you're basically going to just chain one double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat that and one thing that i made sure that i do was uh I attached my yarn in a way that I'm working in the opposite direction of the previous round as you can see here this round was worked well going this side so I made sure that um, the prev the next round is worked in the direction of the the opposite direction of the previous round so just work this until you get to the beginning of the round and I'll show you what to do after that so when you get to this middle section where you join the two panels together you're going to just chain one and just find where to place a stitch like that and then you're going to chain one if possible you can go on to the opposite side as well just to avoid that big space so you can see i've placed one on this side and one on this side and then chain one and continue with, with your mesh pattern and now I've placed my last double crochet into the last double crochet here I'll chain one and then place a slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four like that and that marks the end of round one of uh, turning our shorts into pants so from here you're going to make a chain of four turn your work and just go into the next double crochet and continue to chain one one double crochet into the next creating a mesh pattern all the way around and we are basically going to just repeat this round until we get the length of the pants that we want um so let's assume that you have finished one leg i usually get complaints of how do i attach onto the opposite side so here we are you're going to just do the same exact thing uh basically you're going to attach your yarn onto the back side of your pants just like we did for the first leg assuming this is long enough this is the length that you want for your pants you're going to just turn your work onto the back side just like we did for the first part the back side into any um double crochet stitch and make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row so that means i'm going to work like this so uh, you're going to chain four 
and then double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet so that is going to start creating the mesh pattern and one thing that i want you to cross check is the number of mesh uh, spaces that you have for the very first round so that you just match it with the opposite leg you don't want one leg to be bigger bigger than the other so I still remember exactly what I did here. I placed one double crochet on this side and then chained one and placed one double crochet on the opposite side. So whatever you do on this side, please make sure you mirror it on the opposite side. And then from there, you're just going to repeat the same exact process. Nothing is really changing. Just enjoy the mesh pattern, relax, because this is one piece that you can work on without even thinking. So when you come to this part where we placed a slip stitch, you can see there's some kind of awkwardness when it comes to this part. You're just going to chain one and if there's a little space, leave it. That will count as a chain one space. And then double crochet into the next double crochet, like that. And you can see we've canceled that awkwardness by just going across with our mesh pattern so just keep working until you get the length of the pants that you want for your mesh pants so this is how everything is going to start to look like um your pants are going to start becoming longer and longer and since I'm running out of yarn, I am going to work the rest of the pants off camera, but I think I've explained the basics of these pants. Uh, here are some of the pants that I've done before using the same exact pattern or the same exact approach. So best believe you can trust this design or this approach to give you the same exact results. Now, uh, when it comes to the waistband, I already have the length that I need for my waistband so I'll just make a simple chain so just like we did for this shirt this is another approach of a mesh shirt and I'll be linking it on the screen for you guys to try it out if this is the approach that you prefer so uh, this is for the short version and I don't recommend it for the pants version because the pants are kind of different um, that's what I do for mine so you can see I just placed a drawstring in the waistband and just uh, had an adjustable uh, waistline when it comes to the pants or shorts because remember when we are starting our project we start off with uh, a measurement considering the hip measurement not the waistline measurement and in most cases the waistline is much smaller than the hip measurement so you have to get a drawstring and then pass it through the very first row and then uh, you can even attach some cute tassels to just add some beauty to it and that's basically it i haven't demonstrated it here because i'm out of yarn totally out of this color so uh if you want to see the detailed part about the drawstring you can refer to the video on the screen which is for the mesh shots so um i think that's it for today thanks for watching and Make sure you tag me in your finished pieces and don't forget to check out the written pattern. It's already available from size extra small on to 2XL. And thanks, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.